Buddhism, International Day of Women, Buddhist Perspectives in Third Millennium. This Buddhist advice is for all women in the world. It would be different if this Dharma speech would be written by a male Buddhist master. I've heard few male Buddhist masters teaching about the position of women in Buddhism, but very few Buddhist women actually express their views freely and openly. Women are generally afraid that men will not like what they are saying or that this is not in accordance with the tradition, which is still predominantly patriarchal. Aryatara means liberation and it is from the perspective of that liberation where enlightened courage is generated. Aryatara is teaching all beings, especially women, to become liberated and to work in this liberated state for the welfare of all motherless sentient beings. On the Vajrayana Buddhist path, we teach the wisdom of equality. This message of enlightened courage is for all women to liberate their potential of innate Buddha nature. If women would have more power and strength in the society, they would take more responsibility in this degenerate age to improve the situation. But don't expect that power and strength will be given to you from your male colleagues. Most men feel endangered in their shaking position. Such men always try to keep women in lower place. Do you know that aggressive men are men who are most afraid? Fear is creating aggression and anger which is expressing itself inwardly or outwardly, in implosive or explosive ways. Women must empower themselves. This strength comes from within, not from outside. Strength to women comes from our innate Buddha nature, from our Tathagata Garbha. Women are more sensitive, have greater intuition and more wisdom. This message of enlightenment, courage and strength is the happy message for third millennium which began few years ago. As a woman you must respect yourself because you have incredible potential of Buddha nature. Bodhidharma 28 Patriarch of Chan said in his bloodstream sermon Life and death are important. Don't suffer them in vain. In respecting yourself, your Supreme Buddha nature, don't raise up your daughters to become servants of men. Raise them up in fearlessness and liberation of Aryatara. Don't raise up your sons to become grown-up infants who always need to be served. Teach them equality of women and men. Teach them self-responsibility and awareness, which is the foundation of Buddhist path. Step on the Noble Eightfold Path with your children and family. Be a wise teacher to your children as Buddha Shakyamuni was toward his son, Rahula. Don't be a servant to your husband and children but serve the teachings of the Buddhas. Teach your family Buddhism in daily life and how to share responsibilities and tasks. Be a wise teacher to your husband or partner. Teach everybody practical aspects of Buddhist part of self-liberation. In the Supreme Art Yoga, Dzogchen teaching it is said that women have greater potential to become Buddhas in present life. Use the opportunity of precious human birth and practice self-discipline, samadhi and wisdom of discernment. Aryatara promises that she will always appear as a woman. This is great encouragement for all of us 
are stepping on her footsteps. Those men who are repeating the sadhana of Aryatara or those men who are praying to Kwan Yin Bodhisattva of compassion and are not respecting women in daily life are very ignorant beings. Everybody should open their eyes and they will see many female Buddhas. If you think that Buddhas have only male emanations, you deny that Buddhas are omniscient. Those who have difficulties in learning from the teachings of female Buddhist masters mentally still live in the Middle Age. Mentally they don't live in third millennium. What a pity if women go down to men who mentally live in the Middle Age. We ask all men and women to be truly ladies and gentlemen to each other and to respect each other. To respect men doesn't mean to bow to them and to serve them. This would mean self, lack of self-respect. Women must have Vajra pride and men must have Vajra pride as wisdom deities in this wisdom of equality. Each of us is potential Buddha. When we will become completely accomplished as Buddhas depends on our capacities of enlightened courage, strength and primordial wisdom. Generally, women must learn to become strong mentally, intellectually and emotionally. Generally, men must learn to become softer, develop intuition and egolessness. In such a way, there will be balance between male and female qualities within oneself. Those men who have difficulties in learning from the teachings of female Buddhist masters should especially practice 100,000 prostrations to male and female Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of 10 directions and 3 times, asking them to enlighten their darkness of ignorance. 14 Dalai Lama said recently to reporters in Italy, If a woman reveals herself as more useful, the Lama could very well be reincarnated in this form. May my words encourage women to become liberated from suffering and all limitations. May the Buddha potential of every woman swiftly grow, opening as magnificent lotus blossom on the surface of crystal clear water. May Buddha Amitabha constantly pour down streams of wisdom light on the crown of every sentient being.